So what's going on guys? My name's Violent. Welcome to Grizz Zombies. Today, we're going to be opening up a winner bribe. I did earn one, and there's a way you can actually earn one too, and I'm going to tell you how to achieve that. I also grinded out four other winner supply drops, so I'll be opening up those too. So drop a like on this video if you go on to learn something, and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if you guys are new, and if anything here sparks an idea, anything at all, hit me up over on Twitter, at GrizzViolent. It's the best place to keep talking zombies. The way you're going to go about earning this is by collecting a contract. And this contract can be found in the Quartermaster. It's right next to the collections under contracts. And when you enter that menu, you will have a listing of all these different kinds of contracts. But the lower left corner one will have a reward of a winner bribe. So all the rest of them will have winner supply drops. This one is special. So you want to get your hands on this while it's available. The challenge I had to do was complete 25 multiplayer matches, which wasn't that bad. And while I'm doing this, I can do other orders as well that Major Howard gives you. So you can go over there and collect them if you want and combine them and get a lot more supply drops this way. So I like to get all the winner supply drop orders and contracts if I can, but I don't really do contracts that much. But this one here was a bribe and it was very easy. You had a lot of time just to complete these matches. And I feel like any of you guys can do that as well. I've realized that in order to get these weapons that are winter themed in the collections, I need to play every day. And pretty much I need to come in and log in and get my bonuses and armory credits in accordance to how long it takes to get these things done. It's quite annoying, but at the same time it's the only way I can get armory credits in time to get these themed weapons. And that's what I'm kind of working towards right now. So anything that's not a duplicate that's from a winter supply drop, I'm grateful because that's something I don't have to use armory credits for. So it's not a bad thing to be earning these winter supply drops right now. Open up as many as you can. I had already taken a lot of time, so my original collections that's not winter siege has a lot already unlocked. So I'm getting a lot of duplicates for everything that's not a winter supply drop. And I like that because that's helping me grind towards earning things that I want to unlock in the collections. So that's kind of where my head's at right now, is getting these collections completed. You know what I'm saying? So the first thing you'll notice is it's a triple banger. It's duplicate protected, and that's what's great about the Winter Bribe. You will get three items that you don't already have. Mine were not great, standard, and two rares. But you could get luckier than I am, and that's why this is an extraordinary thing that you can get and saves you a lot of salvage in the process. So, in the collections, this is something that's very valuable, and types of bribes like this you want to take if they're available in contracts or hopefully special orders coming up. But I'm just becoming conscious to the fact as to how much salvage I'm going to need in order to unlock these variants that I want that are winter themed these types of weapons that are going to be a part of my zombies collection and the weapon kits things I can use on the zombies maps so they're very interesting to me this is definitely something I'm interested in collecting however I want to earn it and something I'd love to recommend is new game types that also award salvage bonuses because it's a very important thing to be collecting it's like our new keys currency that's shared between zombies and multiplayer and in zombies so a new feature that I've been introducing in my other videos too are public events. I think public events on the map would make this world seem a little bit more alive because we do feel disconnected from the headquarters and the entirety of this winter siege event. So to feel a little bit more connected I feel like certain public events would benefit the community overall and these would award salvage bonuses because it's, it's hard to collect it, it really is especially if you're not opening a lot of supply drops. The only other way is to accept orders from Major Howard and complete those with the rewards of armory credits. I think there needs to be a little bit more options. They need to open it up and a lot of people are begging for a PvP mode in Zombies as, as well as me. I really want this to be a thing but I'm not sure if we're gonna get it with this game. That's the thing. I think it will come with Treyarch if anything with the 10 year anniversary of Zombies coming up in the next Zombies game. I did just get a recent update in and it's from Sledgehammer. They are aware now of the Red Talon 
XP farm. So if you guys were farming that to get your max prestiges, uh, this is something that's going to be coming to an end. And a lot of you guys out there, <laughs> hats off to you, man. I did it as well. And I can't wait to start entering Master Prestige. So hopefully you guys are at 10th Prestige or just before. And that's kind of where I'm sitting right now. But in doing so, I was awarded a ton of zombie supply drops. And I got really good variants. One in particular here is the Frontline 2, which is the heroic version of the M1. And another one that I got, and I'll show you only two because I got an entire opening that I'm going to drop on Christmas for you guys so you can see that in its full glory. It's a lot of supply drops that I got from entering through all these prestiges. So the Heroic PPSH, the Snake 2, that is another Heroic variant that I got in that drop. So this is something I'm going to be bringing to my channel and it's going to be raw footage back to back of opening all those supply drops right in your face. So hopefully it's hard hitting enough to make a good impact for Christmas. And that's sort of my gift to you guys right now. The wonderful part about this XP farm was it was a part of the main Easter egg. So collecting the Red Talon over and over again was merely just a gift from Sledgehammer. That's how all of us are going to view it. Because there's no reason to think otherwise. It's a part of the game and you can literally do it without having to glitch at all. You just collect the reward over and over again. And it's just given to us. So that's what's really unique about everybody getting to these max prestiges right now um, and it's a very interesting time I'd like to think that it revitalized a little bit of the community in a way not everyone not everyone trust me everyone will be back for Black Ops 4 or World at War 2 whatever it's gonna be for Treyarch's next title everyone is coming back but I think this revitalized the community just a little bit gave them a little flavor of what the zombies world used to feel like and so it's, it hasn't been quite the same since Black Ops 2, but I feel like everything's coming together a little bit more and more every single year, and the new events tend to bring more updates and a lot more hope than we anticipate, and um, that's what I like to see towards the end of this Winter Siege event, is a lot more updates coming in, giving us new features and things that we haven't played yet, and sort of expanding the map that we're currently playing upon. It is in the works right now, at least at Sledgehammer Games, they've confirmed that they are considering bringing in daily and weekly bounties, bringing in things that are gonna improve the overall loot factor for the Zombies players. It's interesting that they're just now taking it into consideration. I'm seeing a lot of lackluster in the sense that not right away, Zombies needed to be taken care of. The priority was stabilization. I feel like that was the situation they were in, is getting everything stable just so it's playable, and then slowly bringing in updates, focusing in certain areas, and Zombies is now finally just getting the attention. And we've seen this over a few game updates, and in particular, update 1.07 that we've had recently. But along with that was a dossier change in the recordings. Two are now missing, and I'm going to play those for you now. Have a listen. That, that may be all I can share with you. Straub grows more suspicious of me every day. Dear sister, I have spent my time here preparing a way for you to defeat Straub and his evil. I have sabotaged his work. I have hidden weapons and tools that will give you the power to counter the horror that grows from beneath the mountain. My hope is that somehow you can forgive me. I'm about to release Shrub's most powerful weapon. I cannot promise that I will survive what happens next. But I pray it will open a way for you to find your way into this nightmare. And if you do, I have no doubt you will conquer it. This is your nature. And I will always admire this. Ich liebe dich, Marie. So it has to raise the question, did Klaus leave behind tools to defeat Straub only on the final Reich, or is he going to carry this out throughout the other DLC maps yet to come? We know we have a super easter egg that we're going to be piecing together. Is somehow this all involved? And now that two recordings are missing, it seems like those two, the 25th and 26th, were important 
factors moving forward into the DLC season. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, and I'll catch you in the next video. Violent out.